is today and I'll be explaining Chef Saba today. A Chef Saba stores information about the node. Node are the the the, the system that is Chef is trying to configure. Those are node. And Chef Saba stores information about those nodes, information like the cookbooks, the cookbook, the policy and metadata about the node. Chef contains information about each node. Now Chef Sava itself was written um it was originally was formally written in Ruby and it was really it was rewritten in um Helang. Sorry if I didn't pronounce that very well. Now what are the components of a Chef Sava? Now we have something called Chef Client. Chef Client Chef Client makes a call to Chef Sava. Now when the call is made from the Chef Client on the on the node, it goes through a called Nginx. The Nginx is a load balancer that receives the traffic and the traffic is being sent to the Chef Server. Now the chef can, server can also receive traffic to what called chef manage. A chef manage is a Ruby on real application that presents you with a GUI that allows you to manage a chef server. Now let's talk about the book chef. The book chefs allows you to manage the files, the files, the templates and stuff like that that are part of your cookbook on the chef server so book chef is the guy in charge of making managing the files and the templates in your cookbook now if we have a file let's call the file file a in version one and file a does not change in version two book chef has a way to make sure only one copy of version a is stored now if there's a change it's going to what save a new copy with a change but if there is no change it makes sure it only stores one copy of the file for both cookbook now after the request hits the chef server it goes what call it goes into what we call the message queue the message queue is being managed through what we call the rabbit message queue after the, the, the message is stored in the message queue, the chef expander transforms the message from the rabbit message queue and what put them in the right format, then poly, post it into what called chef solar. The chef solar it it um it just think of it as an Apache solar. Apache solar it's it's used for searching and indexing. Now the question is, what is it going to be indexing? It's going to be searching this guy, the data store, which is also the data store, which is um, using PostgreSQL. So the data store in Chef Server is done using PostgreSQL. Hope I pronounced that right. I mean that's the basic config of a chef server the request hits from the client hits the load balancer to the server from the same server it gets stored in the message queue message queue then you can search and also information that needs to be stored are stored in what we call the postgre sql there is a way for you to use an external postgre sql let's say you have an external postgre sql server in place there's a way to configure chef to use that instead of creating one for itself yeah <coughs> there's a way to do that in chef all right so that's it and thank you very much